This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by FreeStateGame.com. Bum, 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 bum. You can play it almost any way you want. One of the reasons I haven't rated Nashua meetings more than I do is that both the school board and the board of aldermen are fairly laid back. They don't try to fight the camera like you find people doing uh, a lot of other places where you've seen me uh, go. This is to their credit, but, uh, you know, of course, it's just not as good for ratings. In a sense, I'd almost rather be somewhere, somewhere where someone's slapping me uh, than where they are behaving so smoothly. Uh, however, I'm glad that the Nashville government generally behaves that way. Where's your car parked? But you already asked you me that. Are said... You are not making an active attempt to go to your vehicle. Okay? How do you know? Give me your name and give well, me your When I get birth. to my vehicle, is that going to be disproven? Uh, you know, the infamous arrest that so many of you have heard about where I was uh, arrested at the Joe Biden event in Nashua. Uh, that's a little bit of an aberration in my mind for the way the Nashua uh, government behaves. Uh, maybe the police department is a little more um, out of line here than in some towns. But the overall, again, that's why I always like to say Nashua is the most underrated town in New Hampshire. Because overall, things are pretty good here by police world standards, you know, this police state world we live in. Superintendent, is that you? Yes. Question, uh, will you be advocating for a slight increase in school spending this year on the part of the city? Well, the uh, Board of Education budget has an increase um, of somewhere over 3%, so that's the budget we're supporting. Uh, you know, you got to, I mean, there are a lot of taxpayers that can, that they're, they're getting less money this year and they're having trouble paying you. Uh, how do you justify an increase in your spending when so many people are having to tighten their belts? Well, I think it's a balancing act. We actually, within our budget, are laying off existing positions um, to make way for critical spending that we have to address in special education or other areas. So we recognize um, there are limitations in the community, but we've also been in a position as a school district over time of continuing to cut services. So it's matter of where you strike that balance and I certainly think the Board of Aldermen have a very difficult job in front of them with it. Appreciate you at least answering questions this more than I get out of the sure. Manchester superintendent. Thank you. Take care. In the city again. And then we ask ourselves why is our taxes going up? Then why we have our seniors and our people on fixed incomes. How are they able to afford to pay their taxes anymore? Do they go and get a reverse mortgage to be able to pay for their home that they've been in for all these years? We've made it very tough for people to live in this community again. I think we worry about the wrong things versus the right things here. And to give a 5% increase, I know what she does in the department, but I also know it's not right, a 5% increase. She deals with 15 aldermen, okay. And there's managers to deal with more people that make Legal department. You've heard about the game Ridley and Friends are building. Free State aims to be a simple but deep MMO war game. A time sink with a cute variety and severe customization. But as you can see, I'm not even tech savvy enough to make a good screen cap. So, I need your help implementing this project. Visit freestategame.com to make contact and play the pre-alpha demo. FreeStateGame.com, bum, 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 you can play it almost any way you want.